springs have been there for more than 100 years, even in horse buggies, for example, um, uh, we still had leaf springs back then. It's a super old technology, um, but uh, at the same time, it is very cheap to make. Provides a really good suspension system for vehicles. They can be multiple configurations. You can have all different combinations of these uh, steel plates in there. The amount of load that the rear axle carries is what primarily affects uh, the leaf design. It depends on what kind of ride uh, you want from the vehicle, what kind of handling you want from the vehicle. If you think about it, it's been for there for 200 years, people might think it's a simple technology to model, right? Uh, but it's completely the other way around in a sense because leaf springs themselves are not just um, like a coil spring where it is a point to point force. The challenge with leaf springs is that the, the leaves themselves are articulating with the suspension. So that is one difficult part. Uh, there's friction between the different leaves that needs to be modeled. Uh, there are bushings attached uh, between the chassis and the leaf springs that need to be modeled. Uh, again, bushings are, are their own uh, monster in a sense, where you need to model their um, um, frequency dependent properties. Uh, and then on the other side, there is a leaf spring, which is also frequency dependent, right? So um, both these combined lead to a lot of effects. So the modeling of leaf springs in general is super tough to do. Anything a test can do, simulation can model it. If you're looking at the stresses inside a leaf, right? How could you do that in test? It's practically impossible to do. You can do that in simulation. Uh, similarly, if you want to measure uh, the force be uh, between two leaves, for example, you can put in a load trans transducer there, but that actually modifies the, the model itself, right? In a test. Simulation, you don't have to do that and you can actually see the physics happening behind it. So yep. in that sense, that is useful. FEA tools can model most of the physics out there, but are not efficient enough in, in certain areas. Leaf springs can, can be modeled much more efficiently uh, with a multi-body dynamics tool. So what Simpac offers by being robust in terms of the solver is very useful so that we can look at the results, understand the physics happening behind it, and then send it out to our design engineers. Uh, so if a simulation for leaf springs takes, say, a day to do, in MBD it would be uh, within an hour. I love Simpac because of its robust solver.